Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a skincare video. Now, I haven't done one of these in quite a long time and I'm going to do a quick, well not so quick intro explaining why that is. Now, I used to have nearly perfect skin. When I first started blogging, I really didn't have any problems with my skin at all. It was pretty clear. I'd never suffered from acne. I didn't really get breakouts at all. I was really, really lucky. Um, when I started blogging, I started switching up my skincare a lot. So um, I wanted to try out new products to review and I kind of believe the hype of a lot of products online. So I'd be switching, switching, switching. And after about a year, I found that this was actually really bad for my skin and I was starting to get um, I, did, I never had awful skin, but it was much worse than it used to be. So I was starting to get a lot of redness on my cheeks, a few more breakouts and things like that. So at that stage I decided to be a bit more wary of the skincare that I was using and I started to be quite vigilant about staying within the same skincare routine, within the products that I knew that my skin liked um, and not swapping all the time because it does take around a month for your skin to adjust to even just one skincare products. So if you're constantly changing your whole routine then your skin is just never getting used to it and you're never going to be able to see the benefits. So I was using the same skincare routine for a very very long time and I had a skincare video that I put up I think it must have been maybe eight months to a year ago. I don't know that is a guess in my head right now. I'm not sure if that's right but I will link it in the information bar below um, and you guys can go and check it out and see what I used to use. Since then I've kind of gradually introduced new products into my routine and then I realised this week that I actually have a whole new routine and there's only I think two products that used to be in my old routine that are in my new one so I thought why not do a new video I've got some amazing amazing products I'm literally in love with my skincare routine at the moment I absolutely love it just as a quick intro I have normal to dry skin um, generally my skin is fairly kind of well balanced but I do get dry patches whenever the seasons change especially coming into winter um, when it gets really cold usually like end of December I get really really dry patches but apart from that I have fairly well balanced skin so all of these recommendations you know kind of bear that in mind I do have normal to dry skin I don't have oily skin so if you have oily skin some of these products might not be appropriate for you but I know that some of them will be so if you do have oily skin don't think that this might not be appropriate for you because I definitely have a few products in there um, that I think would work fantastically well for oily skin. So, without further ado, that was the longest intro ever. I'm going to get into my skincare routine. So first of all for cleansers, and I've been raving about this product for the last few weeks, it's the This Works Clean Skin 5-in-1 Water, and mine is actually almost out now. Actually it's not, it's got about a third left. That was a total lie, mine's not almost out, it's got a third left, yay. Um, I absolutely adore this, I've been using it for the last, let me try and think, probably six weeks, a month to six weeks, I can't quite remember. Um, it is more of a makeup remover than a cleanser, it, you kind of pump it on, it's, it's like a clear liquid, you pump it onto cotton pads, I use the large size cotton pads because I find they're much better, um, and you wipe it on your face to remove your makeup. I'm not going to go on too much about this cleanser because I have mentioned it in a couple of videos recently and I've done a review of it on my blog. But I absolutely love it, it's really gentle on the skin, it removes makeup like nothing else. I prefer it to Bioderma, which everyone raves about. I absolutely love that. So this is what I use to remove my makeup at night. And then in the morning to cleanse my skin I use Liz Earl's Cleanse and Polish, which I loved when I first tried it and then I went away from it in my kind of testing everything stage. And I decided that this was the best cleanser I'd used, so I came back to it and I still love it. I use it with my Clarisonic, this is my Clarisonic Mia, mine is a little bit... Um, battered and dog-eared because it's quite old now and it's the boring white one because I got it when they first came out in the UK and they didn't have the colours. Um, the brush head on here is actually the exfoliating brush head which I haven't really noticed much difference from the normal brush head so um, I don't know whether I'd recommend if you are thinking about buying the exfoliating brush head as an addition I'd maybe say stick with the one that you have. Anyway, I really like using that with the Lizelle Cleanser Polish even though this is a muslin cloth cleanser I always have real trouble saying that. Hot cloth cleanser, you're meant to use it, use it. you're meant to use it with a cloth. Um, but I find it works really well with the Clarisonic, even though it doesn't foam. I just really like them together and I find they cleanse my skin really well. And I like this. So after I've cleansed my skin, in the morning I only actually use two other products on it. I use my Prevage Triple Defense Shield SPF 50 sunscreen. And this is a funny product for me because it's a really, really expensive 
sunscreen. It's £55, and I know what you guys are thinking, because I thought it when I first saw this. I was like, £55 for a sunscreen? Like, I don't know if I would really pay that much, because how can it be worth that? Um, I got given this by Elizabeth Arden two months ago, and I thought exactly that. I was like, it can't really be worth it. I don't really see how a sunscreen can be that good. But I got it for free, so I'll try it anyway and see what I think. And it is absolutely amazing. Within a week of using this, I already knew that I would repurchase it again and again and again. I honestly haven't used a moisturiser that's better than this. And I say moisturiser because when I use this, I actually don't need to use a moisturiser as well as an SPF. So I use this as my kind of one-stop moisturiser, SPF 50. It's really moisturising. I find it's not oily, but it's just leaves the most beautiful texture to your skin. It leaves it feeling really smooth. And for some reason, it's not a tinted moisturiser, it's this weird yellow colour actually, which is quite strange, but it just kind of smooths out your complexion and makes your skin look better without even having any makeup on it yet. Only slightly, obviously it's not like putting foundation on because it is a moisturiser, but it actually just makes your skin look really nice. I don't know how it does it, but I really, really like it. And I have to say, I think it's worth the money, which I think is crazy, and I know when I first saw it, I was literally like, no, it can't be worth £55 for an SPF, but it is, I absolutely love this, and I definitely, I'm like dreading running out of it, because I have to go and buy a new one, but the one disadvantage I should mention as well, quickly, is the fact that it has a brush on the end, which I think is really bizarre, and this was one of the big selling points for this, because it's actually a new product, it's just come out, um, is the fact that you can brush it on like a foundation and kind of get really good coverage for your SPF but I find I've used it with the brush and I just find because the product's really thin it's quite a liquidy runny moisturizer that it just doesn't work that well and I prefer to just put it on my fingers and rub it on but I guess that's personal preference another thing I don't like about the brushes is that you can't wash them so generally I don't like the brush I wish it was just in a normal tube but there we go the rest of the product is absolutely fantastic and I could not recommend this more if you are in the market for a high-end SPF. This is honestly one of the best products I've ever used on my skin. I absolutely love it. Um, if you're not and if you think it's crazy, I know there'll be some people that think it's crazy money and it kind of is, but it's amazing. Anyway, the only other thing I use on my skin in the mornings is the Clarins um, Eye Contour Balm. And this is actually new as well. I got this in New York a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my friend Tanya recommended it to me. It's basically um, an eye cream that's designed for kind of younger skin rather than kind of very rich. A lot of the eye creams that you buy that are on the market, they're very anti-aging, they're very rich and they're kind of a bit too much for younger skin. Um, so this is more of a balm, it's very light. Um, I do like this, I don't think it's groundbreaking. Um, it's very moisturising but I find it doesn't really combat bags um, as much as some of the other eye creams that I've used. I think I slightly prefer the Origins Ginseng one. Um, but I'm going to use this up because I do like it, it's just not amazing. Okay, so the last thing I use on my skin on a regular basis is my Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir or Eau de Beauty, Beauty Water, whatever you want to call it, the Caudalie Beauty Water. Um, this smells absolutely divine and it's basically just a refreshing spray for your skin. It has lots of essential oils in it that are kind of meant to be good for your skin as well, but personally I use it to just either refresh my makeup throughout the day and also just to kind of relax myself. I just, it smells so incredible and relaxing and it just makes your skin look very kind of glowy and fresh. I really like it. So I keep one of these in my handbag um, most of the time. This one's actually empty because um, I just got a new one. But yeah, I find this is really good. It's not the cheapest. I think these little bottles are about £10. But you can buy them if you find online sales at the right times. I just bought a few that were £6 each. So you can get them for a little bit cheaper. But they are definitely worth it. I love them. Um, especially if you're one of those people who likes kind of um, facial sprays. If you don't like facial sprays, they might be a little bit overpowering. Because that one is quite highly scented. So um, it's not like water. It really does have an aroma. The last two things are actually treatments. And the first one I've been using for a long time now, I think it's probably coming up to a year, but it's the Bare Minerals Pure Transformation Night Treatment, and if you watch my videos on a regular basis, you'll probably have seen me talk about this before. It's a very strange product, it's basically like a mineral foundation, um, it has coverage and everything, it's coloured, you can get a clear one, but this one is coloured, um, that you put on at night before you go to bed. I found this to be really, really good for helping with redness, like I said before, um, I was getting quite a lot of redness around my cheeks, I found this to have really helped with that. 
um, and I just generally really like it. Whilst I've been using it, I think my skin has improved quite a lot. So I really, really like that, and I've been using it for a long time. Another thing, this isn't the cheapest either, I think it's about 40 quid, but it's lasted for absolutely ages, and there's like no sign of it finishing. If you guys use Bare Minerals products anyway, you know they last for absolutely ages. So it is one of those that it will probably last you for like 18 months to two years. I don't know. The expiration on it is 12 months, so it'll probably last you for over the amount of time that you're meant to have it before you throw it away. Um, which is a good thing or a bad thing, depending which way you look at it. Anyway, I love that. Okay, so the last thing is another treatment, and this has got to be probably one of the most hyped up products in the blogging world. And I put off trying this for a really, really long time because I thought it would be more appropriate for oily or acne prone skin. But I have read quite a few reviews, and a few more recently, um, from people with just normal to dry skin. They don't have particularly problem skin, um, but this product just makes your skin look incredible. And it is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. Now, this is a glycolic acid treatment, which might sound scary. I thought it sounded pretty scary when I first read about it. Um, because it has acid in it, um, but basically it's a kind of resurfacing and rejuvenating and I feel like toning treatment for your skin, it is kind of like a very strong toner, you know those weird kind of very alcoholic um, toners that you, I, well I don't know, you used to use, I used to use when I was um, in my teens and they would kind of feel very stripping but if you have spots they just feel like they're really zapping them. Um, this feels like that. It's basically a clear liquid. It's just like water um, that you put onto a cotton pad. You saturate a cotton pad with it and wipe it onto your skin, onto clean skin, before you go to bed at night. And you're meant to use this every other night. I would say I probably use it three nights a week. Um, and honestly, it's one of the only skincare products that you will actually notice a difference the very first time you use it. I remember the first time I used it, I was kind of like really excited because I'd heard so much about this and, oh, you know, you notice um, a difference the very next day and things like that. And I obviously, as I don't have kind of acne prone skin, I didn't notice a huge difference in terms of it clearing up my skin. But the next day, my skin just looked glowing and radiant and just very, very healthy. And every morning that I wake up after using this is like that. It's like, it just makes your skin look really really good. Um, I've also seen some amazing reviews online for this when it's been used um, for acne sufferers and it is just absolutely incredible so I would definitely recommend looking into this product whether or not you have acne no matter what skin you have I would really really recommend um, doing a bit of research to see if you think this would be appropriate for you because I found it absolutely incredible and it's definitely part of my kind of not every day, but it's part of my skincare routine now and I'm going to carry on using it because I absolutely love it and it's just amazing. And that is it for my skincare routine. I'm sorry if this video has been a little bit scatterbrained. Um, I'm trying to fit a lot of information into a hopefully not over 15 minute video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your skincare favourites are if you use any of the products that I use. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think of them too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!